Show Band, everybody. Thank you. How you guys doing? Coming up in just a few moments, uh, our dear friend, Mr. John Dickerson, is going to be out here in just That's a second right. from CBS News to explain. Put it all in perspective for yes. us. That's only he can. Folks, uh, if you watch the show, you know once in a while I wake up right over there in the middle of a news storm where my topical fan boat slammed into a haunted current events orphanage, then stagger drunk through the reality swamp, slamming moonshine and cough medicine while lashing jokes to rotting scraps of story timber so I can hunker down inside the rickety but reassuring castaways giggle tent that is my monologue. But sometimes, just <laughs> sometimes, folks, the sky's clear and word reaches me of a drunk moose that broke into a Yankee candle. What's that? A Florida man got his penis stuck in a vending machine? <laughs> And I frolic toward the warmth and safety of the gleaming fortress of stupid that is my segment. Meanwhile. Love it. That's a flip. That's an inversion layer right there. That, is, that did. See, Tom read that. Someone like, yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, whiskey brand Fireball plans to collect heartbroken football fans' tears for their new whiskey. Well, that's one way to announce you're doing a collaboration with the Jets. <laughs> Meanwhile, movies. The only art form that can make us laugh, cry, and say, wait, is this movie about Spider-Man's uncle's coworker? <laughs> According to a top historian, Gladiator 2 is total Hollywood BS due to historical inaccuracies, including a scene where a Roman noble is shown reading the morning newspaper 1,200 years before the invention of the printing press. Even worse, he's reading Kathy. Meanwhile, Starbucks is bringing back handwritten names in Sharpie on cups. Now, I myself don't care either way, but you know who loves that kind of personal touch? Sturfin. <laughs> in, addition, in addition to the handwritten names, Starbucks will try to win over customers by bringing back self-serve stations with sugar and cream. You know their slogan, your sleeves are now covered in someone else's cinnamon. <laughs> Meanwhile, Spirit Airlines has announced it is selling its planes, which is expected to generate approximately $519 million, money they will no doubt use to refresh the seat urine. <laughs> Next up, Egypt is finally opening the Grand Egyptian Museum, which will house Tutankhamun's beautifully crafted bows, wine, and even fresh underpants buried 3,347 years ago. Proof that every culture in history has worried that they'll run out of underwear on a trip. <laughs> okay, I'm going to Seattle for two days, so... 100 pairs? <laughs> wait, no, wait, no, no, I might go for a run. 200. <laughs> Meanwhile, McDonald's is bringing back a fan favorite item. It's spicy chicken nuggets. In response, Arby's will also resurrect its fan favorite item, the Meat Boy. <laughs> you know his slogan, please let me die. <laughs> meat, mm. meat Boy. Uh. Yeah. Meanwhile, there's a new trend on TikTok crafting perfectly curated travel bins. Okay, seems weird, but harmless enough. Let's, let's, let's take a quick look here. Wow, okay, yeah. <laughs> and I bet the people waiting behind you will be so inspired at how much time that took that you will also look perfect in that tray when they stuff you into it. <laughs> These... <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. These videos are going viral and use the hashtag airport aesthetic. Very different from my airport aesthetic. Putting on compression socks in a Chili's 2. <laughs> Meanwhile, Snoop Dogg is cooking up a Planet of the Apes-like sci-fi movie. And I, is this true? I believe we have a sneak preview. God dizzle you all to hizzle. We'll be right back.
right back with CBS News, John Dickerson.